Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back! <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, been able to do anything, and oh, I've got a bit of a treat for you this time now, Clockwork Empires. Now this is a game by Gaslamp Games, those were the people that bought you, uh, do -do -do -do. my mind's gone blank, Dungeons of Dreadmoor, now that was a really cracking uh, roguelike, really cracking casual roguelike, uh, one that I spent many, many hours on. And it's pretty cool. Now this is a alpha build. This is the earliest access build from uh, Steam. It's actually the next version from that. The very first version didn't have any save functionality, which was a bit of a disappointment. But uh, they did say they was going to put it in as soon as possible, and that's what they've done. So you know, sweet. <laughs> now you do need save game functionality because this game is very similar to games such as Dwarf Fortress, Towns, No Mario, etc, etc, those types of games, basically colony building games. Uh, since we since we have a, um, a huge increase of these at the moment, but this particular one's pretty uh, unique in that the way the AI uh, acts, it's pretty cool, it's, it's got a really adaptive AI, which we'll uh, crack onto in a bit. Okay, so there is a options menu, but it's on a separate launcher. It's exactly the same as how uh, Dungeon Dreadmoor was. Uh, you can change the window size, full screen, sound, etc., etc. There's also a separate configuration things that are fine. So yeah, there we go. Okay, let's crack onto the game then, shall we? Okay, dokie. Okay. So to start off with, you know, it, it is it is alpha, so there's there's going to be missing features and whatnot. At the moment, you can only pick one place. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that might be the second place you can be able to pick soon, but you know that's fine. And you just get a little bit of an overview of um, what you're giving here. Can we change the cre no? We can't change the name. Oh dear, that's a shame. Um, we've got Aspen Forest, uh, Grassland, Eye Prairie, Conifer Forest, there's some wildlife here as well. And it's fishing timber and minerals, rumours of fish people. Yes, there are fish people in the game. Don't ask. It's actually got a very, um, very British feel to it. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but I like it. Load out, we've got uh, 14 colonists, which is technically 17 because you've got three brave soldiers as well and a, a few supplies as we fit an expedition this size let's set course for adventure yeah now there is a bit of a load time now all the um, all the actual uh, levels are randomly generated well the the world's randomly generated I should say so that's pretty cool you know even if you're gonna go into the same location you might not necessarily get the same kind of resources and you might not necessarily be out be uh, killing fish people straight away. Yeah, I'm just going to put it out there because that's what you do in the game. You kill fish people. <laughs> Let's just quickly pause. Uh, it didn't pause. Why didn't it pause? It did pause. Okay. Right then. So as you can see, it's not the best looking game ever, but it's actually pretty decent. I actually quite like the art style of this. Um. Right, and so let's just see what we got here. So we've got 17 uh, colonists, obviously three of them are soldiers, 14 of them aren't. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all these are able to hunt. Now there is a big reason for this. Food early game can be an extreme problem. Now it might not actually be that much of a problem because we have got a few mushrooms here and there. But even so, enabling everyone to be able to hunt is pretty useful since it will get you a lot of meat from the wildlife around, which is really cool. Okie dokie. So, we've got some commodities. We start off with um, quite a small amount, actually. We've got uh, two copper pipes, uh, three iron pipes, two brass cogs, three pistols, two muskets, seven bricks, five logs, three planks, uh, seven iron plates, some bread, and a few copper plates. Not an awful lot, but enough to work with. And of course, we got an overview of our colonists here as well. As you can see, um, some of them are idle, some of them are gossiping. Now, before we actually actually unpause this, I want to show you the the basically the AI kind of thing. So, here's Rotter Iron Cord Hook. Yeah, what a name! 
<laughs> she is a uh, labourer. She's part of Mr. Hopland's stout sores, and she isn't mom, and she's a gossiping. Yeah? Okie dokie. So, each uh, meteor conist will have traits, and depending on the traits, will depend on basically how that colonist reacts to stuff, and also how efficient or inefficient he or she will be. So, we've got adaptable. So, this character can acquire new skills faster than other people, and is slightly less likely to be made unhappy or driven insane by unfortunate changes in events. So, that's actually a really nice uh, trait to have. But then you've got brutish. This person tends to solve life's problems by hitting them. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. And then we've got doomed. What's the use? This person is just going to die. So, she has a very negative output on uh, outlook on life. But she's pretty adaptable, so she's quite useful. But the fact that she's got Doom does mean that she's not gonna. She's got nothing going for her, basically, is basically what that's trying to say. Now, memories are a wee bit different. Now, ev the game will actually keep a track of every single conversation, every single event that will happen towards this particular uh, colonist. And depending on what happens, it, dep it is how they will actually act. In the future, which is a really cool thing, really cool indeed. I haven't actually seen many management games that actually have this kind of this kind of thing. Really haven't. Okay, so memories. So she just had a conversation about the daily grind lately, and she's also had an unpleasant journey due to the fear of airship travel. Oh dear, so she might get a little bit flustered to start off with, but she might um, cool down a bit. And you've got a little bit of um. You've also got a little bit of a bio there, but nothing much. Uh, let's just click on someone else and let's just have a look. So here we go, this particular person hasn't actually had any memories yet. But uh, she's very absent-minded, so that's absolutely brilliant. Um, she's This person is more likely to be afraid of things, including but not limited to her own shadow, fighting monsters and trees. Yeah, trees. <laughs> and a rustic disposition, this character is less likely to be made happy by owning things. Well, unless they're made out of wood. So, yeah. Okie dokie. It's quite a lot. Now, the one thing that I will say about the game that I'm not too keen about is that it doesn't really display the information to you on screen very well. You have to actually click the individual um, person and you're not always going to know if people are going to do things like, say, be part of the cult, which is something that can happen. And amongst other things, I'll be a cannibal. That thing, that, these things can happen. So, yeah. Okie dokie, so the first thing we're going to do is build a stockpile, now we need stockpile to, well, stockpile stuff, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Now the building is, the building placement's kind of odd, you've got a little circle which you probably can just about make out, and there you go, so that's just doing a stockpile, then you've got a farm, we are going to need a few farms, so I'm probably going to make uh, two farms. I'm just thinking where to make them now. If I make one, I don't want it too close because what will happen is it will take some of the stockpile away. So if we have it around about there, we'll have it. Uh, yeah, is that six by? F that's six by five. Let's go six by six. Is that six by six? No, that was five by. All right, let's leave it five by five. Fuck it. <laughs> and we'll build a second farm as well. Uh, I'll have it quite close, but not too close. And that's also going to be 5x5. Five five. There we go. Okie dokie. So each farm we're going to have one as the cabbage plant. And we're going to have one as a pumpkin vine. You can also have wheat and optimum poppy. I haven't really tried those yet. So I have no idea if that's going to be any good or not. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is uh, issue some commands out. So as you probably noticed, each kind of work, uh, each kind of job as a leader and well I'm not actually 100% sure what the leader is supposed to do that is definitely something I'm not 100% sure what's, or what that's supposed to uh, do it doesn't really display properly uh, in the alpha at the moment maybe it will in future but as you can see they've also got like their employees kind of thing and they'll do the stuff and yeah basically <laughs> okay so let's start off with um, chopping down some trees, that seems like a good idea. So, you can select um, stuff singly, but there does appear to be a bit of lag when you do that. 
So if I was you, I'd just drag and drop. Actually, that's kind of yeah. It's a bit laggy sometimes. There's just frame rate issues, and even on this machine, there's quite a few frame rate issues. Which is really odd. We're gonna forage some of the um, mushrooms and stuff, and then we're gonna chop some trees down. We can also mine surface ores. Where's the ores? I can't see them. Hmm. Maybe if I turn the there we go. There's some more there. I can't see them on this one though. Oh no, th there's the ores. Okay, so what are those? Well, we can mine those. I think that's just rock, isn't it? That's chalk. Cool, cool. That could be useful for something. <laughs> I don't know what yet. So we're gonna chop down some trees, forage some uh, mushrooms, and dig some stuff. There's also these here as well. I suppose I can focus those as well. Okay, okay. So while they're doing that. We are going to uh, come on playing them. There we go. I'm going to unpause the game. And as you can see, they're now going about doing stuff. So we'll have the. Oh, they're getting guns. What are they getting guns for? Oh no, they're just depositing it over there. Right, now we have a problem. There seems to be no sound. That is damn unusual. Why is there no sound? Uh. Do. do, 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 do. It's alpha. <laughs> there was set there. There was sound previously. Uh, let me save and let me go back. And let me see if I can get the sound on. Come on. Just take a while to save. You know, it is the it is the first interpretation uh, interpretation of the um, save system. So it will take a while, I think. Ah, just drinking my coffee. I'm actually going to just pause it two seconds while I figure out what the fuck's wrong with the sound. And we have sound! Yay! Although it might be a wee bit too low now. God damn it! <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's start off with making our neck, our first um, thingy. Yeah, they keep working even though the game's paused. It's kind of weird. But yeah. So, this is how you build stuff. Now, I do like the way you build stuff but the interface is a wee bit clunky so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a carpentry workshop first so we can actually get some planks by uh, chopping wood down and etc etc so I'm just gonna build it over here I think out of the way so I'm gonna stick it over here let's build it um, 6x6 that seems about right there we go so you drag it over and you basically just uh, let go of the left mouse and it will show you the requirements it will need so it will need um, free wood yeah and then we'll press done now you need to add the modules this is pretty cool so you've got a required modules a optional modules and decorations now from what I can tell decorations are just that they're just de decorations I haven't noticed it. I haven't know I don't know if it um, increases the Happiness of your uh, colonist. I expect the wood, but it doesn't seem like it in this particular version, so I don't know. Maybe they will eventually. So we're going to stick a door, which I'm going to put there. We're going to need a carpentry workbench, which I'm going to stick, uh, yeah, around here. There we go. We've got a standing deck, which we're going to need there. Now I'm not going to build the power saw just yet because we don't need it. But I'm going to put a loading bay there. There we go. And now that's done, we can finish. That's going to cost all together five wood and two planks, which we should have. Now, once that's built, we can then start focusing on uh, making some planks, and then we can focus on doing the other workshops. Now, as you can see, I've um, put the L. I'm having a blonde moment here. <laughs> Our infantry, okay, let's just call it that. Our infantry have been busy um, killing stuff. Let's just dump all. And now they're going to butcher. And we got some food. Yay! Now, as you can see, people are talking. They're talking about random stuff. So, as you can see, um, Mr. Orion, Orion Sander had a conversation about the monarchy lately. And he also enjoyed the journey, which is absolutely fantastic. This individual has become obsessed with the water, the sea, the fish, and all things aquatic. They often cont contemplate taking long walks directly into the ocean. Oh dear. This person likes damning things that they are not very good at. Oh dear. 
but he's also a professionalism. Okay, this is cool. I do like the uh, trade system a lot. It's really cool. Now, as you can see, we have managed to start farming some food. Uh, this is not going to be um, needed just yet, since we have got some uh, meat. Although, we haven't got a lot of meat. But we should be okay for the time being. Now, we probably do want to be possibly exploring more. Hey, and we've actually built our house. Excellent way to know a house. It's a workshop. So, yeah, we just need to wait for that carpentry workbench to be built, and then we can start thinking about making some planks. Uh, until then, our miners are mining. What's that? Is that hematite? Yeah, hematite. Cool. That's. I think that's iron. Yeah, it's iron. Sweet. So, we've got nice early access to iron, which is really cool. You can get worlds that are really brutal in that you, you you might not necessarily get stone very close to where you are. And stone is kind of needed for a few things, like the kitchen and stuff. Um, what are you crying about? He had an unpleasant journey and he's crying about something. <coughs> Don't know. And he's happy. Yay. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. So let's start. Now, I don't like this production queue system, because one, it doesn't work, <laughs> okay? You, can, you can't you can actually toggle the plus and minus yet. It is an alpha, guys, but you can cancel it, okay? So, to add to the production, production queue, you just need to keep pressing it. So, let's go for 10 for the time being. There's not a craft tool, unfortunately, which I'm hoping they'll think about doing sometime in the future. Having a craft tool option is pretty damn important. Let's forage for that, so we've got some more food in the um, in the case of mushrooms. Nom 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 nom. Uh, we've got some chalk. Sweet. It's used as flux in the production of steel. And we've actually got iron, so oh. we can actually make steel. But we've got no coal or anything. So yeah, it's just unfortunate. Let's go about and chop down some more trees over here. And I mean, there's a lot of logs here we could get from this. So, yeah, let's uh, chop these down. There's also a lot of foraging now, I notice. So, let's forage. There we go. It's going to give us a bit more food just to survive. Now, the other thing I noticed as well, there's no fast forward. I mean, it's not necessarily a big deal to start off with, but as you're just waiting for stuff to produce, having that fast forward option would be a big deal. But again, it, guys, it's alpha. It's early. You know, some of these things aren't implemented yet. So, yeah, as you can see, that's actually supposed to be the minimap. <laughs> it doesn't work either. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, they should be killing these by now. It's because they're talking about random shit. And, of course, there is a day and night system, as you can see. Although, I don't think that actually has any relation to anything yet. Except for, obviously, ending the days. So yeah, now we should have a few planks now, I'm trying to check my commodities, uh, we've got two planks, that should be enough for the time being, how many logs we've got, 45 logs, that's plenty more than enough, yeah the match is starting to work now, Mr, Mrs, uh, Edwina, Iron Pedal, Pen Pendleworth, Iron Pendleworth, yeah, that's it, <laughs> weird names these have. These are some really weird names. Uh, she had an unpleasant journey to the frontier due to dreams haunted by mysterious dark figures. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I wish they'd start hunting and get these meat because we kind of need it. Why is he upset? He's upset about something. Um, she was hangered by the hardships of the low class lately. Oh dear. Now, we don't have any houses or anything just yet. That's something we should probably focus on doing, especially since it's now day two. But we need other stuff first, like the kitchen. So, let's focus on getting this kitchen done. I'm going to put the kitchen fairly near the farm, but not right next to it. So, I'm probably going to stick it over here somewhere. Yeah, that should do it. I'll stick it there. 6x6 six six should do. Yeah. 6x6 six six is usually a good rule of thumb for most workshops. There we go, we'll stick a door there, and we'll stick a workbench there. There we go. Now, now, do we actually have the stone for a small stone oven? I don't think we do. So we might want to make a small oven out of bricks and the iron instead, which I didn't really want to do. I want to keep that for other stuff, but it's fine for the most part. Let's stick it there. 
Uh, let's have a rack, spice rack, and hanging pots. There we go. There's no loading deck, obviously, because there's nothing to really load onto it. So, yeah. Once that's built, we can start cooking our meat and stuff. Especially since they're eating it raw, which is not very good for them. Why aren't they hunting? <laughs> this is weird. Why the fuck aren't they hunting? Yeah, the hunting's on. Can we hunt, please? Can we hunt? Hunt? Hunt it! You can't actually... Yeah, you can't... Wow, that's weird. Yeah, you can't actually designate that to be hunted. But look at all that meat there that's just going to waste. Now, I have come across a few problems with the AI pathing, which was actually quite funny. Um, <laughs> making a kitchen before, and what people decided to do was get... Uh, two of the colonists got a plank, and they kept putting it down by the door and picking it up by the door and putting it down by the door and picking it up by the door. Yeah, they eventually starved to death, <laughs> which was uh, hilarious, absolutely hilarious, but it shouldn't be happening. Okay, so what we got here? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's. We haven't actually come across any berries yet, have we? We've only come across mushrooms. There's usually, it usually um, start off right next to a load of berries. It's very rare you don't start off by berries, so yeah. Ooh, hello, Mr. Orr. Let's mine those and see what we get out of that. That looks like that looks like rock. Yeah, there's no berries anywhere. That's really unusual. There's usually tons of stuff. Oh well, we can still forage some mushrooms. And we can also chop down some more trees. Because, you know, that's what we do. As you can see, people are actually sleeping inside the kitchen. Bloody hell. Right. Let me, um, no, I don't want to look at the loading by door. Okay, so the small ovens just need some bricks now. It's a good job we've got plenty of bricks. <laughs> now, have I actually come across any fingers yet? Hang on. Your colony may receive some immigrants. Okay, then. Uh, the colony minister has seen fit to send some immigrants to your colony. Do you have any preferences to whom you would like to arrive? One skilled overseer. Think the free of anyone you've got, which actually increased my prestige. Ooh, cool. Okay, so we got three more, and we've got a bit more prestige. Cool. Not hundred percent sure what prestige actually does. I'm assuming it might unlock some more buildings or something further than the road. I hope it does. But I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, so now we've got more villages to <laughs> more villages to feed, which is absolutely superb. Uh, we might want to think about making another farm. Especially since none of them seem to be hunting, and we now have a an all rock in the house living with them. You're living with your food. Do you realise that? Ah. Silly, mm. silly, silly, silly. Okay, let's start making some pickled fungus preservatives because that's going to uh, increase the quality of it. Also, some cooked dodo. And some auroch meat. Where's the auroch? Cook steak. I think it's steak, isn't it? Shoot, it's steak. Can't tell because they're not killing them. So, yeah, I have no idea why they're not killing the aurochs. Please kill the aurochs. There's a dodo there. Please kill the dodo. Oh, okay. I may know why. Because people aren't putting stuff on the... Um, that's odd. Why aren't people putting stuff on the stockpile? Hmm. What's this? Cult. Some supplies may be requested from the... Oh, okay. What supplies? Food. Feed my colonists. Oh, hang on. I want to just stand the assumption that his supplies have been um, squandered. The colony minister has seen fit to have a passing air drop off some goods. We do need food because uh, my colonists are done. Guns, lots of guns, materials to build workshops. Mm. Do you know what? Fuck it, give me materials. Give me materials. 
What the hell is he doing? What the fuck's he doing? I can't select him properly. Uh, okay. You're doing something, you're just being idle. Oh, I just realised something. I haven't assigned work crews, have I? Oops. Um. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. You can help with the. Uh, you can help with the farm. There you go. You can help farm. You're mining. You're making planks. You're tending crops. And apparently, just wheels has no jobs. I'm sure that's kind of the hauling stuff, isn't it? Well, can you actually do some hauling? It would be nice. Stick it in the stockpile. I might have to remake another stockpile because I think the I think the hours just uh, get up there for a, for a split second. Let me make a second stockpile and see if that will help. Oh, 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 I think we have progress. Yes, we do. Sweet. For some reason, that stockpile is broke. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and I f I, Yeah, I don't think we can delete it either. Stockpiles can't be deleted in this version as of yet. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> Please kill that Auroch. He's right there. He's, wait he's actually in the kitchen waiting to be slaughtered. Come on. <laughs> That's funny shit. That really is funny shit. Right, what did we get from that anyway? Did we get any more building materials? Um, oh, we got some clay. Okay. Got iron plates. Oh yeah, we did get a few things. Rough stock, rough um, stone block. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, we got it from that. Is that coal? Oh my god, yes, it's coal. Yes. Uh, we might be able to actually make a few workshops. There we go. Sweet. But why aren't they killing the Orvocs? They're right there. Kill them. I think these muskets might be bugged, you know, because they're inside the stockpile. And if that's the case, then that's probably the reason why they're not killing the Aurochs, which is actually a really bad thing for us because we've got no way to defend ourselves if that's the case. Oh dear. I probably should have asked for guns. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let's um, let's focus on a ceramics workshop next. It's going to be the next thing. We need to make um, clay blocks and stuff. And bricks. So let's focus on this. Let's see where I can stick it actually. Yeah, let's stick it here. We need a 6x6. Six six. Ah. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I had gunshots. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, let's um, do this. So we're going to need a lower class door. Like so. We're going to need a ceramics kiln. Like so. We're going to need a ceramics workbench. Uh, let me just right click. There we go. We're gonna need a standing desk, and of course a loading um, bay. There we go. Sweet. And that is a fully operational. Well, it will be a fully operational ceramics workshop. Sweet. People are getting hungry, which is never a good thing. I think the Z hunting might be a wee bit booked. What do you think? Oh, yes, berries, berries, berries. Go and get those berries. Especially get those babies since we've gotten our bloody food. There's also a few more. Oh, there's more there. I didn't see those. Hello. Now I'm trying not to forage these, and I'm just about to cancel that job. Cancel. Cancel the. No, cancel the job. I don't think you can cancel the job. Shit. We're gonna have problems. <laughs> yeah. So. These eggs are really nutritional, but yeah, the fish people don't like you taking their eggs ah. for some reason. Don't know why, the greedy bastards, you know, but yeah. But you can turn them into caviar, which is always cool. Look at all these rocks. You know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if I can just retoggle and see if that will help. Really? Really? <laughs> alpha is alpha! <laughs> yep, 
Do you know what? I actually really enjoy Doom on Doom because it's just dirt moments like that that make it so much more appealing. Very dirty moments, and I don't think we're going to run out of food now, but at the same time, we're now going to anger the uh, fish people because of dumb stuff. Uh, aren't you foraging? Forage, hurry up. <laughs> well, there's more over here. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is there anything else? Does it look like there's anything else? Um, they're still not using this stockpile, which is worrying. Uh, God damn it. There's no way to delete it either yet. So I'm going to make a second stockpile just over there, like so. There we go. Sweet. Oh, more, more immigrants. Let's have one skilled overseer. And by doing that, we should then be able... Yeah, we got another lot now. That's great. Uh, is there any workers that I only have... No. Not quite yet. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll take some more as they, as they go along. Okay. All out of the formation of Mrs. Cord's Prim Pipes. Indeed. Oh, it, it will need a toggle on the uh, hunting though, won't it? Yeah. It's a shame you can't um, enable that by default. Okay, so we've got the ceramics workshop. It's nearly done. Um, are we actually low on building materials? No, we've got plenty of uh, building materials. Okay. What about, uh, what about our plank situation? Yeah, we might need a few more planks eventually. So let's make a few more. There we go. Let's make 30 of them since we... No, let's make 40 of them since we've actually got the uh, wood for it. There we go. Uh, we can also harvest the bones. We can forage the bones, which is what we're going to do now. Um, you can't actually do this by dragging it, I don't think. Yeah, for some reason. Actually, we'll try. Yeah, you can. Okay, dokie. Um, I'm not too sure what the bones actually do. It says they're supposed to um, help um, grow plants and whatnot, but I haven't seen it being used in that sense yet. So, uh, maybe it doesn't quite work yet in this version. But we'll see. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. It's probably me doing it wrong because that's me to a T, but yeah. Right, refinery. Let's go ahead and build on right here. Uh, does the refinery need six or seven? I think it's six. It might need seven, actually. Ooh, we might be cutting it close on that one. Okay, let's have a door there. Need an industrial kiln, which I'll stick right next to the door. We also need a smeltering crucible, which I'll stick right next to the uh, kiln. We've got a standing desk. Which I'll stick do, 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 there. And a loading bay door, which I'll add them back. There we go. Sweet. Should have all the materials for that as well. Let's have a look how we can do now. Okay, we can make uh, bricks, we can make stone bricks, and we can make glass. Um, glass pane, is that sand? Well, we've got plenty of sand over here, but I'm wondering if we can dig up the sand. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can actually dig up the sand. That's weird. I wonder if that's not implemented in yet either. Oh, we can we can clear some seashells though. You know. <laughs> Don't know why you would, but we can. We can. We can do that. Oh my god, 33 minutes in already. Holy shit. Well, I'm going to get to do this because I'm really enjoying this at the moment. And I shall see you very shortly. <laughs>